This video is for educational purpose only. Copyright Disclaimer Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Non-profit, educational or personal use tips a balance in favor of fair use. In case you feel your rights are violated, kindly email us at subatakari, at gmail.com. And we will be quite eager to take down our video. Thanks. Let's start. Today's movie is The Human Centipede 2, Full Sequence is a 2011 exploitation horror film, written, directed, and co-produced by Tom Six. An international co-production of the Netherlands and the United Kingdom, and the sequel to Six's 2009 film The Human Centipede, first sequence, the film stars Lawrence R. Harvey as a psychiatrically and intellectually impaired Englishman who watches and becomes obsessed with the first Human Centipede film, and decides to make his own centipede consisting of 12 people, including Ashley Yenny, an actress from the first film. The Human Centipede 2 Full sequence, received substantial attention and controversy for its graphic depictions of violence, sexual violence and body horror. It was subject to heavy censorship throughout the world, where it was sometimes edited to remove objectionable content or banned altogether. It received generally negative reviews, with much criticism focused on its acting, plot and violence. In the tow booth of a parking garage in East London, Martin Lomax is watching The Human Centipede, first sequence, on his laptop, a film he is obsessed with. Short, overweight, asthmatic, and mentally challenged, Martin lives with his overbearing mother, who blames him for having his father put in prison for physically and sexually abusing Martin when he was a boy. Dr. Sebring, Martin's psychiatrist, also touches him inappropriately and prescribes him heavy medication. Martin keeps a pet centipede, which he gleefully feeds insects to. Martin acquires a dingy warehouse after killing the leaser and begins abducting people to use for his own human centipede. His victims include, an aggressive young man and his girlfriend. A man who complains about the ATM having no cash. A rich man and his pregnant wife who has a toddler, who Martin leaves in the back seat of their car uninjured. Two drunk girls who catch Martin masturbating with sandpaper to the scene from the original film where Dr. Hyder wakes the centipede up, and another man. When Martin's mother finds and destroys his scrapbook, Martin kills her by letting his pet centipede bite her face, then bludgeoning her head with a crowbar until her skull caves in. He then lures his detested neighbor to the scene, shoots, and kidnaps him. Martin also catches Dr. Sebring and the cabbie having sex with a prostitute, and proceeds to kill Sebring before abducting the cabbie and the prostitute. Martin's final victim is Ashley Yenny, the actress who played Jenny in the first film, whom Martin lures under false pretenses. With 12 victims, Martin begins assembling a centipede. He severs the ligaments in each person's knees to prevent them from fleeing and uses a hammer to knock out their teeth. He slices open the buttocks of one of his victims, causing him to bleed to death. In a quick change of plan, instead of actual surgeon tools, he uses a staple gun and duct tape to attach each person's lips to the next person's buttocks. During the assembly process, the pregnant woman is presumed dead. A grieving Martin places her in the corner. His human centipede is ultimately ten people long with Ashlyn in front. After performing the crude procedure, Martin begins experimenting. Disturbed by Ashlyn's screams, he tears her tongue out with pliers. He then injects each victim with a syringe of laxative, forcing each of them to explosively evacuate their bowels into the mouth of the person behind them, which Martin laughs gleefully at the sight, before vomiting in disgust. After pausing, he then wraps his genitals in barbed wire and rapes the woman at the end of his centipede. As he finishes, the pregnant woman awakes and runs outside screaming, apparently in labor. She leaps into a victim's car and bears her child. She then gets onto the road, but as she starts the engine, she stomps on the accelerator, crushing the baby's skull under the pedal. She still manages to escape. The neighbor rips his face from the person in front of him, separating the centipede into two halves. 
furious that his centipede is ruined, Martin shoots all the victims, and when he runs out of ammunition, uses a knife to slit the throats of the remaining victims. As he advances on Ashlyn, he appears to give pause, and kneels in front of her. She punches him in the genitals, shoves a funnel into his rectum, and drops his pet centipede into it. In agony, Martin stabs her in the neck and staggers out. Ashlyn is seen slightly moving afterwards. The scene cuts back to the toll booth, with Martin watching the credits of first sequence on his laptop, with exactly the same reaction as the initial scene. However, the toddler left in the car from the previous kidnappings can be heard crying in the background. And the movie is end. Lawrence R. Harvey as Martin Lomax, a short, fat, asthmatic, and mentally challenged man in his 40s who becomes obsessed with first sequence. Martin does not actually have any dialogue in the film except for a few laughs and moans. Ashlyn Yenny as Miss Yenny. Human Centipede Number 1, Martin captures Yenny by flying her over from America thinking she was auditioning for a Quentin Tarantino film. Maddie Black as Candy. Human Centipede Number 2, a prostitute who is kidnapped by Martin while performing oral sex on Dr. Sebring. Candace Kane as Carrie. Human Centipede Number 3, a woman who is captured by Martin after coming from a party drunk along with Valerie. Dominic Borelli as Paul. Human Centipede Number 4, a cab driver that buys a prostitute for himself in Dr. Sebring, but is taken by Martin along with the prostitute. Lucas Hansen as Ian. Human Centipede Number 5, an aggressive young man that lives in the building. Lee Nicholas Harris as Dick. Human Centipede Number 6, the upstairs neighbor of Martin and his mother, who has threatened them with violence when the mother complains about his loud music. Dan Berman as Greg. Human Centipede Number 7, a young man who was the first victim and is first seen gagged and unconscious in Martin's van. Daniel Jude Jenis as Tim. Human Centipede Number 8, a rich man. When he and his pregnant wife are abducted by Martin, their young child is left crying in their car for the rest of the film. Georgia Goodrick as Valerie. Human Centipede Number 9, a woman who is captured by Martin after coming from a party drunk along with Carrie. Emma Locke as Kim. Human Centipede Number 10, the girlfriend of Yuan. Catherine Templer as Rachel, a pregnant woman who is abducted by Martin. Peter Blankenstein as Alan, a man who is taken by Martin when he complains about the ATM having no cash. Vivian Britson as Mrs. Lomax, Martin's mother. Bill Hutchins as Dr. Sebring, Martin's psychiatrist. Peter Charlton as Jake, the lesser of the warehouse Martin uses for his centipede. Director Tom Six stated in 2010 that he was working on a sequel to The Human Centipede, first sequence, as well as a possible third film depending upon its success. 7. He said that the plot would follow on from the first film, but with a centipede made from 12 people as opposed to the three victims of the first. The tagline would be 100% medically inaccurate, in contrast to his 100% medically accurate claim for the first film. Six stated the sequel would be much more graphic and disturbing, making the first film seem like My Little Pony compared with Part 2. Director Tom Six stated in 2010 that he was working on a sequel to The Human Centipede, first sequence, as well as a possible third film depending upon its success. He said that the plot would follow on from the first film, but with a centipede made from 12 people as opposed to the three victims of the first. The tagline would be 100% medically inaccurate, in contrast to his 100% medically accurate claim for the first film. Six stated the sequel would be much more graphic and disturbing, making the first film seem like My Little Pony compared with Part 2. Speculation regarding the plot of full sequence grew after the Weekend of Horrors convention in May 2010, when Ashlyn Yeni and Akihiro Kitamura, who had starred in first sequence, hinted that their characters might return for the sequel despite their deaths in first sequence. Additionally, Ashley C. Williams, whose character was left alive at the end of first sequence, stated in September 2010 that she was shooting a horror film in Britain, which led to speculation from FEAR and ET that she is reprising the role of Lindsay. 10. In a further interview, Yenny confirmed Six's statement that the sequel would contain the blood and shit, which viewers did not see in the first film. According to Six, he intentionally made full sequence very different from first sequence for two reasons. 
first, when he was writing the script of first sequence, he knew people would want more blood and shit than is shown. Second, the two parts reflect the different characters, the colored first sequence, with a slow-moving camera, fit the story of Dr. Hyder, while Martin Lomax's character required a dark and dirty film. Six shot full sequence in color, but was always thinking about black and white, and realized while editing that it was much scarier that way? 12. It was also Six's idea to have little dialogue in the film's second half, except for moans, screams, and whimpers. Principal photography for full sequence began in London in June 2010 with a largely British cast. A teaser trailer was released on September 24, in which Six introduced Martin, a man wearing a cardboard box over his head, as the new doctor. The Human Centipede 2, full sequence, opened at 45th place with $49,456, for an average of $2,748, in the 18 theaters where it premiered. With four theaters added the next weekend, the film dropped a modest 29.9% with $34,679. Its third weekend saw a 56.2% drop despite having two more theaters added. However, in its fourth weekend, the film lost 12 theaters, causing a 61.9% drop, $5,792. In its final weekend, it grossed $2,267, putting the movie's resting spot at number 95 for the weekend. The film grossed $5,824 in Iceland and $1,511 in the United Kingdom. Released in Peru in April 2012, the horror picture grossed $21,111 there. At the end of its run, the film made $141,877, about half of what the previous installment had grossed. The film has a rating of 29% at Rotten Tomatoes based on 82 reviews, with a weighted average of 3.28-10. The site's consensus reads, The Human Centipede 2, full sequence, attempts to weave in social commentary but as the movie wears on, it loses its ability to repulse and shock and ends up obnoxious and annoying. At Metacritic, it rates 17 out of 100, indicating overwhelming dislike, based on 22 reviews. Well that's the end of our this session. Hope you like this video. Do subscribe this channel for more exiting videos. Till then goodbye, and, take care. Thanks for watching.